Out of all 8 billion people in the world, how many of them do you think can bench 225 pounds? Well, I put out a community post a couple of days ago asking all of you guys that same question and you are going to be shocked to find out the real answer. I understand that transition may have been a little unnecessary since I'm still in the exact same place, but I just need an excuse to go grab my computer so I can show you this. This is me benching 225 pounds for multiple reps. And like me, if you're in your late teens or even early 20s and have been lifting for a few years, then you can probably do this fairly easily as well. But one thing many of us fail to realize is that not everyone frequently goes to the gym. Of course, sometimes it may seem like your gym is packed, especially around New Year's, but the reality is you only think a lot of people go to the gym because that's only the people you're around. And that brings me to something pretty interesting called the availability bias. Basically, what this means is that your mind's reality is morphed and changed depending on the information you feed it. Take plane crashes, for example. Statistically speaking, it's very rare to die in a plane crash, but you see about it on the news all the time, so you must think and must fear that you're gonna die in a plane crash. You might think a lot of people are generally fit and go to the gym, but in reality, that's just not the case. So to bring things back full circle, now that we understand availability bias, we should also recognize that the majority of the world doesn't have access to training equipment or proper nutrition. And even the countries that do, the chances of someone actually exercising are pretty slim. Statistically speaking, if you were to pick one person at random from the entire world population, the chances of you actually finding someone who is strong enough to bench 225 pounds for a single rep is incredibly tiny. Not even certain star athletes are strong enough to do so. The most famous example being Kevin Durant in 2007 failed to bench 185 pounds for a single rep. I think I'm really getting the hang of this. Before I tell you the exact answer of how many people can bench 225, I really wanted to touch on something even more important, and that is oh, the amount of- Oh come on, you've been beating around the bush all day now, just tell them what the exact number is, my goodness. All right, all right, fine. That's not how many people can bench 225. That's how many people are subscribed to my channel who are watching my videos. Yeah, pretty small. This is how many people who can bench 225. Less than 1% globally can actually bench 225. And while we can't do anything practical to change this number, we can do a lot to change this one by subscribing right now. Was this entire video just a plug to show how many people who watch your videos aren't even subscribed? No, of course not, of course not. So to put this absolutely crazy statistic into perspective for you, if this entire tub of pre-workout represented all 8 billion people and there's 40 serving scoops per tub, that means one scoop of pre would be equal to 200 million people. But to show a safe estimate of roughly how many people can bench 225 pounds, we'll need to cut three quarters of the serving, and now with one fourth of a scoop remaining, this is a representation of 50 million people. And that is a good estimate of what less than 1% of 8 billion people may look like. Otherwise, this is how many people can bench 225 pounds, as represented by pre-workout. I'm about to drink 200 million people. The first time I benched 225 was pretty crazy because, well, I didn't. My first ever one rep max was 285. And I'm not saying that to be weird or try to brag, but this just happened during my senior year of high school. I wanted to break a school record before I graduated. And so I went into the weight room and there's a plaque of basically like the heaviest lifters. And I saw at the time I was weighing only 150 pounds and I looked at the 150 pound record and it was 265. So later that night at my home gym, when I was still living with my parents, I, after I did a warm up, I matched the school record at 265, but I did it for two reps. So obviously I was like extremely happy and extremely ecstatic and just kind of like anxious to see what I would get. And so a few days later, I let my chest rest up and I got into the school weight room and I weighed in exactly at 150 pounds. So I was, yeah, it was just perfect enough to meet the criteria for the 150 pound record. And I warmed up and then I got under 285 and I benched it. And that is was my first ever one rep max. And obviously it was a very proud, happy moment in my life. And I 
I could be wrong, I haven't checked in a while, but I believe my name is actually still on a plaque, like hung up in the weight room uh, wall. So that's, that's pretty cool. I appreciate all of you guys for watching. Please subscribe and like the video. And if you're looking for ways to improve your chest so maybe you can hit 225 one day or even a bigger PR, then click on this video right here. I go over my favorite chest exercises and it's a pretty good video. So watch it. See ya.